Hello everyone, it's Jeff here. Today I want to talk about something that I pass every day. Water towers. They are everywhere in America. Every town that doesn't have a hill has at least one water tower. This is the abandoned oil boom town of Shamrock, Oklahoma. And one of the last things standing is the old water tower. No, not that Paris. This is Paris, Texas. When it says Libby's, Libby's, Libby's on the label, 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 you will like it, like it, like it. Oh, never mind. You guys have never heard that commercial. This is a town in Texas who discovered their water tower could not survive 20 degrees below zero. Is this a water tower or a... Never mind. No, really. It would be really cool for our town's water tower to look like a fish. What do you want to bet this is a pineapple cannery? This is a picture from 1917 of Hayes City, Kansas. These whimsical twin water towers are in Pratt, Kansas, and I pass them all the time. Another town I go to all the time is Fort Dodge, Iowa. Or how about Dodge City, Kansas, home of Gunsmoke? We are a little lacking in Victorians, so this is about as ornate as it gets for us. This one's kind of ornate. I have passed this water tower a thousand times. It is in Fresno, California, and I had an uncle who lived there when I was a kid. This is Clear Lake, Iowa. This is from Oyster Creek, Texas. I actually lived in this town for about four or five months when I was a kid. Here in America, even the movie studios have water towers. We now travel to Centerville, Tennessee, home of Minnie Pearl. Because most of you probably don't know who Minnie Pearl was, she was a member of the Grand Old Opry, a comedian, and she was very funny. The water tower used to say hometown of Minnie Pearl, and it had her hat on top of the water tower. But as you just saw, the town has a plain water tower now, which means fame can be fleeting. She'll have to make do with a bronze statue now. I have a sad story to tell you about Minnie Pearl. She got involved in a business deal back in the 60s and 70s where she lent her name to a chain of fried chicken stands. And the money was mishandled and the company went out of business. And a whole bunch of investors lost a bunch of money. And she felt so bad about being part of this and people losing their savings that it was the thing that she talked about on her deathbed was how badly she felt that she was dying and was unable to pay the investors back. It is a very sad story. I'd like to meet the person that decided that it would be funny to put a smiley face on a water tower because we now have millions of them. This one is in Ypsilanti. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but I love to say it. There is just literally millions of these smiley face water towers. They are everywhere, in every kind, in every vintage. We have old ones, we have new ones, we have ones that are so old and rusty, I don't even know whether I would want to drink out of them or not. One of these was even from Flint, Michigan, the town that was poisoning everyone with lead in the water. I guess maybe it made them feel better to have it come out of a water tower with a smiley face on it. 
Here's one from the Old Brooks Ketchup Factory. This one is in Ogallala, Nebraska. This is what it looks like during the day. It's painted to look like a UFO with aliens looking out of the portholes. Enid, Oklahoma, and of course in America, a corn water tower. How about one that looks like an alien? Or more smiley faces, always smiley faces. We have a hundred million of those. I'm still trying to figure out the bow tie. I've probably never talked about this before in any of my videos, but this is Colby, Kansas, and I love Kansas very much. I wouldn't live there for a million dollars. It is always negative six or 106, and rarely anything in between. And they have storms that you would have to see to believe. And they also have one other thing, tornadoes. This is Greensburg, Kansas with its almost new water tower. Why does it have a new water tower? Because in May of 2007, one of those tornadoes happened to go through Greensburg, Kansas and left utter destruction. This is what it looked like on the radar as it plowed through Greensburg, Kansas and left Armageddon. This is what your town looks like after an EF5 tornado goes through. I will leave you now with a couple of happier images. This is the water tower from the Disneyland Railroad. And I will say goodbye here. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you again.